everyone well, welcome to another video so in this video we are going to set up a custom gpt that can be used to analyze your business documents testing documents artifacts or maybe if you want to create a custom gpt for your automation based scenarios or you want to create a assistant that can help you to create in learning playwright or selenium web driver so we can do that very easily and quickly so just to follow like uh, we are going to use a github repository that is gpt crawler so this will help us to scrape information that is available in the form of websites or web pages so it will crawl and and scrape that information and then we can use it in fine tuning our llm models so these llm models can be online or offline based so let's quickly discuss about how this works okay so this is a quick demo so what basically gpt corona will do it will create a json file so it acts as a knowledge base okay so this knowledge base now i can feed that into chat gpt or maybe offline models like olama okay so this will help me to fine tune my llm model and then obviously once that is done then i can start asking questions to analyze the document or the information that i provided to the llm model okay in the form of prompts so this is a basic overview so now just to start the setup okay so gpt crawler can be used once you have set up node js and npm in your machines right so once that is done uh, then we can first like we need to obviously clone the repository so this is the url and then you need to have node js and npm available and then you can install the dependencies using npm i command right and then this is the config.ts so we will come to this soon and then we need to start the crawler okay so to start that we need to use npm start command okay so this is the basic setup now coming back to this config.ts file so this is the file that i've already opened in my visual studio code right so this will help us to analyze any website so now what i'll do i will go to playwright documentation so once you search for playwright you will be landed to this uh, playwright docs okay uh, home page and we need to click on this uh, doc docs link once we click on this one then we can see this intro page which has installation guide okay so what we need to do is we need to have a base url as you can see in this okay so i have set that same url that is available over here in my config.ts file and then i have set up a match so this match will help me to analyze all the pages which contains playwright.dev/docs and then uh, slash two stars so these two stars are basically a wild card so this wild card will help me analyze all the pages which are similar to this particular url okay this particular url so that is what will help me and then i have a selector okay so selector basically will help me to analyze the web page or the information that i need to scrape from that web page okay so now just to give an example i will inspect this particular web page now okay this is slightly technical so you need to bear with me so what i have done is i will search so you can press control plus f on your keyboard once you do that inside the dom okay so you will see this find by string selector or xpath so i have already created this uh, locator if you see so i will copy this one and i will paste it here if you see so this is a div element available in my dom structure and this div element contains the entire web page information in the form of text images or videos okay so if i just scroll down in this uh, parent element so if I, first i close this okay so if i close this one then we will be escaping this web page and if i open this and i'll scroll down from this okay so you will see one by one it will start highlighting all the elements so if you are watching this video and you are working as a developer or maybe automation engineer then you will quickly grasp this uh, concept okay so if i just scroll down again in this page you can see it will highlight all the elements that are available okay so this is a parent locator that you can say or parent element which contains the information that is available in this entire web page okay so this is how we need to create a selector and then max pages to crawl so it will crawl up to 10 pages that have, that is what i mentioned for here for now and you can crawl as many pages if you want so if you want to keep 100 web pages you want to crawl then you can keep the value as 100 okay so for now for this demo we will keep it to 10 okay and then output file name so i will kept it as youtube demo.json and then max tokens other than that we don't need to see any part of the code so this is what the basic setup looks like and now what i'll do i will go to my terminal over here and what i'll do i'll clear this for now and then i will type the command npm start okay and once i type this one then it will start the crawling mechanism okay so one by one we will follow the terminal with the instructions okay so for now it has identified all the dependencies correctly and now it will start the crawler okay as you can see here <clears throat> so now it has started to crawl the first page and if we see or if we analyze the page right so it will crawl all the urls which i mentioned over here okay so intro it started from intro and then it went to docs slash api then it went to docs slash writing test similarly it will analyze all the web pages which are similar to this wild card okay and you can see how fast it is it almost took less than 30 seconds to crawl all the web pages and we have this json file now 
Okay, so this JSON file contains all the information. Okay, so for this particular video, I've already done the setup. Okay, and uh, I have already opened chat GPT if I just go here. Okay, and this is the file that I used uh, previously. So it has crawled the similar information and this is the prompt that I used to extract the information from it. Okay, so you, re you can read the prompt, you can pause the video and you can read it. So I've created four different tasks. Okay, so it will identify each task and complete it. As you can see, task one was this one. And then this was a task two. Okay, and this was task three, and then this was the task four. And depending upon this, if I want to interact more, or if I want to know much more information about the information that it has scraped from the document, right? So we can start discussing, suppose I'll just copy this new APIs, okay? Or I can just copy the accessibility assertions. It sounds interesting. So provide me more information, okay, about the topic which you analyzed from the documentation okay so if i grow down now it will start giving me the information so the uh, advantage is like whatever information that we feed in into our document that document will only be used as a knowledge base by the llm now okay so the information is present is correct then it will give us correct information if it is incorrect then it will give that information only because the advantage over here is like llm models usually give generic information instead of a domain specific expertise so this particular uh, scenario the way we have given the information so it will give that expertise to llm now so it will start giving correct answers or so to say context based answers in, instead of context less answers okay and if you have custom gpt access suppose like if i if you go to my gpts over here and if you have chat gpt pro or plus then you have this create custom gpt option enabled and if you have this one then you can also feed the entire document to that custom gpt and then you can use it or you can share that custom gpt with your friends colleagues who are learning similar concepts okay so this was it uh, pretty much the information that I wanted to share in this video. I hope that this information is useful. And obviously, if you are learning playwrights, linear web driver, or you are learning automation, then you can create a similar setup and then you can start learning or start implementing projects using this. Okay. Because this will act as a custom assistant for you now. Okay. So the information that you provide should be correct. That's the main goal. So that's why I took the playwright documentation as an example instead of using some. Uh, random blogs or something like that okay so this is how we can start doing it and i hope this video was useful and if you want to watch more such videos then kindly subscribe to the channel and we will meet in the next one bye bye take care